we could not be more excited with the work that we've done. We've spoken to so many residents of this beautiful community talking about the issues that matter to us and more importantly talking about the issues that matter to them. I think it's important that I speak a little bit about myself. My name is Gabriel Rodriguez. I am a proud product of this community, born and raised here in the town of West New York. Uh, assisted public schools here, PS number four, the original PS number four, and obviously attended Memorial High School, Go Tigers, and attended all of their recreation programs, Little League, played at Miller Stadium. I am proud to be what is considered a son of this town of West New York, and I am running for mayor. I am proud to be from here, and I wanna see this community go to a level that it deserves to be. Our residents deserve it, our children deserve it, our seniors deserve it. I am from here. Uh, I'm proud to say that. Uh, I was born and raised in this house. Uh, my parents were educators here. My sister is currently an educator here. I work for the West New York Board of Ed. And you know, this is the original headquarters where we are now, uh, where uh, all of our plans were made, where we grew up. You know, I cut myself walking down those stairs right there. Uh, this is what uh, community means. I am happily married to my beautiful wife and a father to my beautiful daughter Isabella, a three-year-old, who is also a, already a product of this community. We are happy to be uh, from West New York and that's why we want to take this community to the next level. The New Beginnings team is about promoting positive, positive change to this community not only because it needs it, but it deserves it. I am an advocate of staying in our communities and building them. And this is one of the reasons why New Beginnings, Column A is running and why I'm running for mayor. I'm happily married to my beautiful wife, Amy, uh, and father to my beautiful daughter, Isabella. Uh, I'm a regular guy. I'm a family man. I come from a close-knit family. I live a block away from my parents and the house that I grew up in. And my sister lives five blocks away from me. All my grandparents lived in this community. They raised their families here, obviously. And so, obviously, family is important to us. And the West New York family is important to us. We are true West New Yorkers. And we want to continue to be, and we want to make that West New York better for the, the other West New Yorkers. Uh, I could not be prouder of the work that we've done. Uh, both my parents were educators in this community. My sister is an educator in this community. And, and we were taught as children the value of public service and giving back. And that is obviously a huge uh, reason why we are choosing to run May 14th, a new slate for a new beginning for this beautiful town. West New York needs it. And most importantly, West New York deserves a new beginning. I attended Rutgers University, New Jersey City University, and got my executive master's from New Jersey Institute of Technology right here in Newark, New Jersey. I've dedicated my career to government and politics. I've been able to work under two governors, a U.S. Senator, and a Congressman. I think that has given me uh, the exposure and the experience to provide this community with the resources uh, that it needs to lead, and not only to lead, but to plan for a better uh, future for where we need to take this town. I have been fortunate enough, my family has been fortunate enough to benefit from some of, so many of the resources that this community has been able to uh, afford to us. And now I think it's time that we begin uh, to give back. I personally, as a public servant, as, a, as an elected official, it's important to me uh, to give back to an institution, this town, that I feel has uh, been a significant reason uh, in my success as an individual, as a family man, and my family's success. Uh, my parents proudly served as educators in this community for many years. They just retired last year. And, and these are the examples of individuals that continue to give back. And that's what I want to do. I want to follow in their footsteps and the footsteps of so many, 
so many leaders in this community, people who have given back, no, not only as educators, as police officers, nurses, elected officials, uh, and in so many other capacities. And so these are the reasons that this community thrives, but we need a change to give them the resources to take it to the next level. And that's what New Beginnings is about. West New York has a very rich uh, history and we are blessed to have so much diversity uh, in this community which is made up of seniors, single parents, families, veterans. We want to reach out to all these people, all of our residents, to make sure that their needs are met and most importantly that we are there and available for them. We have walked the streets for the last three months we are happy that we've been able to speak to so many small business owners, single parents, veterans, teachers, police officers. We know what the issues are in West New York. We know what West New York needs. What we need now is for West New York to walk with us, join us. This is urban living. We have the best view in the world of the New York City skyline. What we need is a better view of West New York. And that begins with May 14th, with the support of this community, we ask that you join us. Join us in this new beginning for this community. Let's take this town to the next level, where it deserves to be, where you deserve to be. I am extremely happy to be running with our teammates, our New Beginnings teammates, made up of individuals who are already serving this community and have been doing so for many years. That's the definition of a grassroots organization, of a community-based organization. People who are involved are in the trenches of this community, who are involved with local business and thriving and continue to give back. Working with our kids, with our seniors, that's what makes this community so beautiful. And that's why we need your vote May 14th, column A, all the way.